Welcome friends and DIYers. This project is converting a new cassette player to play backwards music and sound. The Q&D is this is the best cheap cassette player I've found for the project. I bought it new from Amazon simply titled USB cassette player sold by different resellers and they're basically all the same with different outer markings so get the cheapest one possible. I've seen them as low as $17 at Alibaba, if you don't mind waiting. But it's generally around $25 or $30 if you don't shop around. The beauty of this thing isn't that it's able to convert songs to MP3 files, which I haven't tested, but the fact that it's an auto-reverse which, with a simple switch mechanism which easily subverts for the purpose. First thing to do when you get one of these guys is to test it out to make sure all the functions work. It doesn't have a speaker so you need to use headphones or earbuds to give it the thorough. The tiny engineering on these things are pretty epic but I think the assembly process can be a little slipshod. I removed the front because I wanted the tape to be fully exposed for quick change and it makes it easier to get at the screws. Three little ones on top, the chrome part, and three even tinier ones along the sides of the back black case. It has those blasted built-in plastic clips holding the back so you might have to get out your spooge or just try and pry until it pops and then wiggle off the chrome piece. The idea is to expose the little switch that's in the lower right corner of the cassette area. Doesn't look much like a switch because the part you would push is pointed down into the mechanism so it can swap tracks when either you press the tiny button to reverse or it reaches the end of the tape. Its function is to switch to the other tracks when the tape mechanism changes direction. Unscrew the back of the switch and slowly and carefully work it out as far as you can reasonably and rotate it around while not pulling on the wires too much. Mark a notch on the chrome top where the switch can slide into. Now, I decided to add a speed control to mine, but that's optional. If you're interested in doing that too, a longer version of this tutorial is on my channel, and I'll leave a link in the description. Use whatever to cut out a place for the switch. I use my scroll saw, but plastic can be tricky, so I went slow. Whatever you do, carefully cut out just enough for the switch to fit snugly into the slot. Now assemble it back together, making sure to put the three tiniest screws into the black case, but don't tighten these down too vigorously as they're just digging into small plastic tabs and are easy to strip. <laughs> Finally, clip off the little tab that was used to screw the switch to the mechanism, and let's try it out. Flip the switch. Oh, flip the switch. You'll notice when I flip the switch, the tape continues in the same direction, but the playheads are reading from the other side of the cassette, playing backwards. Thanks for watching, and keep doing it yourself.